Hi, my name is Rex Beeland and welcome to this week's painting demonstration. We're going to do a, a, a landscape using a triadic color scheme. Triadic means three, three primaries, three colors. So you're going to use a red, blue and a yellow, but we can use any red, any blue, any yellow. The colors I'm using are uh, yellow ochre, cad red light and ultramarine blue. Okay, the first thing I'm doing is I'm just wetting the sky with what I call tinted water. It's a little bit of red because I want the painting be, to be predominantly blue. I'm going to have an underpainting of red, which will make the blue a little more exciting. So I'm just adding it in a regular manner to kind of create some areas of interest. A little bit of yellow and now my dominant color is blue. But I want to make sure that some of the red shows through. Be a much more interesting sky. Now this uh, bit of land here, I'm going to use almost pure ultramarine blue. Now I'm mixing it with more of the other two colors to neutralize it a little bit for this hill which is a bit further away. this back hill I want more yellow to it and a lighter value. Okay, now I've uh, I missed a little bit here but I've just added basically um, a wash of red. Uh, this is going to be um, a row of uh, trees. I'm trying to um, just emphasize those areas of the brightest red. And on this other side, even though it's going to be really dark trees, I want some of this lighter red to show through. It's all just to make it the wash more interesting. You know, a good dark mixture. So I get some shapes in there, but I, you can see I'm still leaving some of the that red wash uh, show through. I'm trying to just use very large, simple tree shapes. bit darker now. But again you can see some of that original wash showing through. It gives it some more depth. Now this is this is my really my darkest dark to outline uh, the openings in the, this barn. You can see I'm using an irregular the bottom of it, so it's like it's sitting in grass or something. A little bit of detail. Just throwing a bit of uh, other colors in there just for variety. stream and again the stream is going to be very dark so this is really just tinted wash but you can see it's quite a rich wash but I'm really using it just to wet the paper now I'll take some even richer pigment and float it in there Okay, 
And now there's the distant mountain range above these trees. Again, just adding other colors to it to make it more interesting. I'm trying to define the top of the red trees using the negative painting technique. Here I'm just integrating that blue mountain with the one in front and I just really want to leave a couple of spots for the red to really show through. And again even for a small wash like this on the side of the barn I'm using a couple of uh, colors for variation. really light wash for the roof but I'm floating some other colors in there just for variety. An important shadow over the house there. Over the bar. Now just to give some of these fields a little greater depth, it's, it's a bit of shadow. Now this water, I, it's dry now, but I want it to be even darker, so I'm re-wetting it. And I'll put some stronger colors in. And as always, the darks really make the lights come alive. Just bits of detail here. Okay, I just I forgot to turn the camera on to do the tree, so I just happen to have another version that this will allow me to do the tree. Okay, now back to the painting. Now I've re-wet the water and I'm even adding a darker value on it. Just adding a few darks to the tree trunk, make those leaf shapes stand out even more.
entire uh, side of that this barn is a little bit away from the light, so I toned that down. And I decided to tone the side of the barn down, even though it's facing the light, and leave the white hill in front as the purest white. And these are just bits of detail to make things, to give it a little more depth. Yeah, I just felt the trees should be uh, a bit taller here, so I'm just extending them and changing the shape of those trees there. And also using the trees to define a little bit more of the uh, roof of the barn. Redarken a few of the windows. Just uh, here, I felt that the I wanted a little more red in the uh, side of the shed there and in the water at the at the bottom. Unfortunately, I decided it was too much, so I'm actually lifting out some of it here, particularly in the stream. Now some almost pure cad red light for finishing touches.